We were picked because we were strong, healthy, uh, good, uh, I suppose, good, um, um, good role models for the people on the, for the people who would be going on the boat, who were DPs, came out of camps with very low morale, sick. And the, the boat that was supposed to take them was a special boat because it was going to take 5,000 people, the biggest boat that went. It was supposedly strong and fitted out, and pregnant women were going, and young children and orphans from the camps. We were training every night. We'd be woken up by the siren, and we'd put our packs on and run downstairs and form into groups, ready to go. So every night, we didn't know if that was the night we were going to go or not. And this went on for two or three weeks. And then one night, it was the night, and um, I still get very uh, overcome when I think about it. So we got on the lorries, and the lorries rolled through the night, and in the early morning, we got out, and there was the boat. You know, it's, it was, it's haunted me my whole life. And we all had false passports, which were Colombian or some... We all had different passports with little bits of paper. And we were on the boat, and um, I was used to ocean liners. And this was a little boat, <laughs> you know, a very little boat, and lots of people. The ocean liners, you had a handful of people, really, per route. So it was a um, kind of shock that we were all going on it, but so so long awaited that let's get on and you know get on with it the night before up went the exodus in 1947 and uh, you know we were so sort of singing and happy and dancing even on the top because we we're on the top deck and really sort of absolutely thrilled i i can honestly say i didn't have a moment's fear not, not even now I think of it, you know, just the thrill of the being there. It was something that was worth doing. The journey took five days. We were told that there's no way we're not going to get into Israel because this boat is big. It's been, it's been hotted up. That it, when we get in territorial area, three, three miles out of the country, it'll go full speed ahead land in Tel Aviv on the sand, you know, beach itself. We're all going to jump off and uh, assimilate with the, with the people, which did happen on one or two boats. And, um, you know, it's going to be fine. In the morning when it was light and we looked, we were right down below, but we were allowed to go upstairs on the deck. We took turns, you know, with other people. When we looked out, there were five um, I don't know what you call them, cruisers. Five British warships following three. Eventually it came to seven. So they were just following. We were going along and they were either side. So the full five days they were with us. And on the night before we were supposed to make our dash, the, um, the boats in English were making declarations, you know, turn back, go make for turn me your boat, turn your boat. And the uh, Haganah start realized they'd have to go earlier. It was, it was outside the three mile limit. And there's no chance, but they, they made a dash for it. And uh, the boats, a, as we started to go, the, the boats came, if this is that, the boats came in, banged it, and um, the next lot came in. So they came in waves, banging the boat. Luckily, it, it, broke the, it broke the sides, but it was still wicketing along. And then they boarded, and they killed the man at the wheel. They were all American volunteers, the, start, the crew. Anyway, they killed a few people. They killed two or three children. We were on the top deck, 
all we had. We had no ammunition. We had just tins of food. And we, we were sort of throwing it at the boarding party. But it didn't make much difference. And then they used gas. And when they used gas, we were done. You know, it was a horrible, horrible feeling. So we were just knocked out or lying about. And they took over the boat and it drifted into Haifa. And the following, as soon as it reached Haifa, we were taken off, deloused, and put on a British prison ship. So that was <laughs> the, the end of that. Thank you.